All right, guys, welcome to a uh, sort of new series today. It's maybe very, 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 very on and off, this uh, little thing right here that uh, I'm going to do today. It has been five years um, to the day of today, <laughs> being the upload day of this, depending on when you're watching it, uh, 26th of June 2018, marks five years since this episode was actually released, this was the first ever match in the PES 5 ML Master League series um, that we've got on the channel, and the series has been running for, coming up to 300 episodes, uh, not too far away, and um, I figured that I would do a little bit of like post commentary looking back at some matches that have been on uh you know the pes 5 and the pes 6 series uh, sort of down the years kind of thing and uh, obviously going to start with the with the first ever one because it was you know probably the one that everybody's watched most let's face it than any other match um but uh yeah that's uh that's pretty much um the whole thing of this i'm just going to look back and remember what the hell was going on in my mind at the time <laughs> when um you know I, when i was originally recording these and stuff so um yeah the first ever uh team that i put out here and uh yeah the the uh, formation was we I, can't, I, I didn't even see the formation screen there um <laughs> was we win the 451 um cuz 451 is just a formation that I hate. I hate it. I hate it. You know, you're probably wondering why am I using the 451 here. Well, I'm using it for no reason whatsoever, to be honest. I usually, when I play, like, a new game, and I've said this before, um, like, the first game I always play with the default team kind of thing, and then just pick whatever selection. Just use the default formation, is what I'm basically saying. That's usually what I go for when I, when I do new stuff. Um... So yeah, and so I've left it, I've got the other commentary, the original commentary ring in the background that you could probably hear very slightly, you'd probably have to turn it up a little bit to hear that a little better, but yeah, um, this was, was the first game, I was actually going to pick a different game because there was, there was a, another match in the series, uh, I'm not going to say what, it was, was probably my favourite of, you know, the, the whole thing as it is so far. Um, but I decided I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to go with the first game because, you know, this is where it all started. Yeah, you know, I mean, this was actually part two though, because the the first part was actually, you know, getting everything set up and that took forever and a day. I think, I've, was that, was the first part like, uh, like, um, uh, half an hour long or something? I think this one was very, I think this was about half an hour long, this episode, but obviously I've cut it down to just the main match, because that's the part you guys, you know, will only care about. Um, apart from, I've kept a few of the stats in at the end, because they were quite, they were kind of interesting. Um, with it being the first ever game of the series, it, there's, there's so many things that um, kind of pop up, um, with it just being like the first game week of the entire thing. So, uh, yeah, that's for a little bit later down the line there, but... Um, yeah, it took me a while to get going. It was a little bit nervous, this match, at first. It was like, you know, I want to get this series off to a good start. I want to win. I've been practicing the game for quite a few months up until this point. And basically, I got to the point where I'd like, this was the six, you know, it's always been on the six star difficulty, which is why I chose PES 5 rather than PES 6 uh, in the in the beginning, because I was wanting to do a PES 6 series, but I ended up choosing 5 instead for it. Um, so, yeah, and um, I'd been practicing it on, like, I was building my way up, I was, like, playing 3 star, and then I went to 4 just to see how I would get on, and I was kind of, like, really getting back into PES 5 around that time. Because, um, like, the year before, this, this was twenty middle of 2013, middle of 2012, I actually bought... PES 5 again on the PC and this is the PC version so this is what I've um, kind of been playing on and off now and then and then kind of build it up to like the 5 star and then the 6 star difficulty and I was like you know I, I think I'm ready for this now you know and I've got everything prepared and to do this series and um, yeah that's where uh, we, we go from from here so uh, yeah a bit of Risa on the left of midfield there <laughs> like one of the only times I think he, I think just like season one he played there. I don't think I remember ever playing him in season two there. I don't think. 
And if he did play in season two, it was very brief. That was a good shot from Cissé right there. So, uh, yeah, Gerard whips the ball in here. It's back out to, uh, I think that was Haman there. Um, so yeah, like I said, a little bit nervous because I wanted to, you know, get this off to a good start. I really wanted to win the first game because it's like the most important, well, I mean, it, it kind of paves the way for the rest of the series in a way, doesn't it? So I, I didn't want to like, you know, lose it. I mean, it, it wouldn't have mattered if I'd lost it in the end. I would have still kept going, you know, um, with this series and, and well, every series on the channel, I, I never re-record anything if i lose a game i lose a game i'll show you guys the the game i lost you know i'm i'm not one of these that re-record stuff you know i mean unless technical issues come up and i have to do it for whatever reason that's the only time that i've ever um you know re-recorded things so it's just whatever happens first time that's the way it is you know you don't get a second chance when it comes to matches in real life do you so why would i do that here but um yeah it was, it was it was getting a little bit nervous. This is back when we had 15 minute matches. I changed it. I think in, oh, I want to say, I think it was beginning of season four. Was it season four? I think we did pre-season actually in season four with 15 minutes still on. I think we did. And then um, I think the like the main season, the competitive season from onwards was just like down to 10 minutes because it, it was kind of dragging a little bit, to be honest, and giving yourself a shorter time kind of makes things a bit more difficult in a way because obviously you don't have, have as much time to score and stuff. So if you are in a difficult situation, I don't know, maybe like one or two nil down or something, you don't have as much time to deal with it. This is a pretty good run by Garcia here. I don't remember this run at all. I, I really don't watch this match back often like at all <laughs> I, I i don't even think i've watched this uh, first game back in full like since i first ever uploaded it i don't think i have i can't remember but uh yeah um so yeah like i said a bit a bit of pressure wanted to get it off to a good start like, it wouldn't have mattered anywhere but i really really wanted this game you know and i was just like going with my game plan just trying things you know just j just going with a flow just going with it and just trying my best to uh, get get the goal eventually so uh yeah and we're, we're half an hour into the match here and it feels like you know by now it, in a 10 minute game it'd be like half time pretty much by now here is gerard that's into the uh the, the defender there and uh, Garcia, I miss Garcia. I kind of regret. Sell, uh, spoiler alert! I got rid of Garcia a little bit later on. I mean, it, by that, I think it wasn't he like around twenty eight or something like that by that point in his career. Anywhere, so he was getting on anywhere. So you can imagine by now, five years later, he is gone, and that, and that this series is still going. But yeah, I really enjoyed the way Garcia played. Um, I think from the fair season, I think mostly just like Cissé, to be honest, uh, Gerard. I think Gerard was Gerard our top scorer in season one. Was it Cissé? I think it was Cissé. <laughs> um, yeah, and then Schwartz entered the mix by halfway point, and uh, yeah, I think things started rolling right then. You know, from then onwards. <laughs> so yeah and uh, that has kept out there and so rangers by this point not really had that much of a chance me mostly all those from what i remember though when i was originally recording this i wasn't like n like getting infuriated i wasn't getting frustrated that i wasn't scoring i was just like you know i'll just we'll just keep plodding on here and eventually we'll get one and then bang cease <laughs> there you know there you go cease what more can you ask for? And that was... Um, he, he just as well got enough space there to hit that ball as well. And it was like... It was kind of lucky in a way. He, he slides in there to get the ball back to Risa. Risa puts him in and he turns into that little tiny bit of space there. Just in, There's like three defenders coming on to him there. I thought it was only two. That, that, that proves how much I don't watch this match ever. He just gets it through, and then he, he sort of like bends that away from the keeper into the top um, right-hand corner. It was a pretty good way to start off the series, that, to be honest with the opening. It was a pretty good goal, if I uh, say so myself. But Then it's, but at this point, it's like, right, 
we've got one goal we need to keep this going now <laughs> you know we don't want to concede and then this happens right here and the foul was against us so a little bit I, pro I, I can't remember but I was probably a little bit nervous right there especially when the ball got cleared off the line <laughs> pretty much there like that you know obviously I want to keep the lead I don't want to concede I want to you know even if it was just the one goal I really kind of desperately wanted to win this game pretty badly so yeah so uh, here's Rainer good old Rainer back then but uh, yeah the series it, like I say guys is five years old the original episode the, the first part the setup was um, oh this shot here though from uh, Alonso I'm so good even to this day that didn't go in that would have been such a good goal to go alongside the uh, the, the C save one there Alonso for us didn't really score that many goals in his time and spoilers again there but you know, yeah. things move on, players move on, transfers happen, in. guys. Honest, <laughs> you know. Um, like really yeah, what was I saying? <laughs> I have lost track now. This, the so the, the first uh, part, uh, the initial setup was uh, uploaded on uh, June 24th, 2013. But this was the first game, and this wasn't until the 26th of June. So obviously, I'm going to go buy the... You know, I kind of wanted to do something for the 24th, but here I am on the t on the 26th um, of, of 2018, uh, you know, going through this match right here. So, because uh, it is the first game, so, you know, why not? But uh, it's a little bit of a milestone, and um, yeah, that was half time right there. <laughs> half time. And uh, it just reminds me, because it's been so long since I've done, like, the... Um, the f the uh the 15 minute matches that like I've kind of forgotten like sort of how much time it kind of adds on to the game if that makes sense around about sort of like eight minutes a 10 minute game comes to half time I usually find but it's taken about just under 12 to get to it by this point but uh, yeah and then I I went on to expert because you have to um understand that I like. Back then, with this being like the first match, I'm, I'm like explaining stuff right here, so I'm just going through like game history, for example, and and all stuff like that, and uh, and uh, the, you know the good old stuff. Get all the, the the idea is, guys, right? When a new series starts up, you get all the crap out the way first, all all the all the explaining and stuff, and then you can get to the good stuff later on. You know, what I mean. So nowadays, it's more or less like for me when I record a new episode it's like you know i just open it up and just go just select my team and then let's just get straight into it get let's get into the good stuff so um yeah that's uh that was pretty much that so uh second half is off here and uh yeah we're still nervous <laughs> we're still nervous uh, we're at home for the first game which um i don't know i i, I I think I, I think I was, I think at the time I was kind of hoping for an away game. I like away games better. I don't know. I like upsetting the majority of the crowd <laughs> because uh, you know, obviously, if if you're playing away, most of the crowd is for the home sport. But um, I don't know. I I was just like, oh, we're at home for Anfield for this one. I was just like, ah, you know, I don't know why. <laughs> to be honest, you know what I mean. First game at home is probably better to have, kind of thing. But yeah. And uh, the series always continued in the same, you know, format. We do one game per episode, and uh, you know, we do the transfer window, you know, halfway through the season, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, a little bit later down the line, can maybe talk about some more of the, the the transfers that have have happened and, and we've made and and stuff like that. But um, you know, this is this is the start. This is where it began. His CC puts in, Garcia goes for the shot, blocked out. They do, to be honest, looking back on this, a, a lot of the Rangers defenders were doing pretty good to um, stop a lot of these shots coming in. It's really strange because on the... Um, this was before I applied the patch, actually. I didn't introduce the uh, the patch uh, until the start of Season 2 is when I introduced that. So you can see, like, all the kits are official or anything like that. Um, apart from the Rangers one, because Rangers and Celtic and, and stuff like that and other teams um, were in PES 5 as official, you know, straight... You know, you, you buy the game 
you know, straight out of the box, it's like that, is what I'm basically trying to say, so, yeah. Like, I don't know what it is, but, like, when the patch was, like, applied, it, like, it didn't really change things up. It's really strange, for some reason, when the game is in the resolution that we're seeing this um, match at right now, it feels like the game is harder for some reason, but when the, the, the resolution has changed, with which the patch can, you know, can be applied and it can change it up, so it like makes the game um, look like a, a bit better, to be honest. Yeah, you know I mean, I never used to like the resolution change, um, but recently, I think it was season four when I changed that up completely, um, when I started recording it that way. Um, yeah, for some reason, the game feels like it's easier in, when you change the resolution up, you know, as you'll see later down the line in like season four and it's really strange for some reason like even pes 6 when i'm playing pes 6 in like if i if i played pes 6 straight out of the box on pc it'd feel more difficult even though it's on the same difficulty as if i played it on the patch with the same difficulty but in a different resolution it feels more difficult and i don't get that to be honest it's really strange here's cc with a chance and he doesn't get to the ball so well, oh oh here we go guys you know i'm explaining the uh, the substitutes and that i think who is it i took off was it so because the thing is see i normally because like c says the weakest there from what i can see probably did i take him off i know morientes came on in this game i can't remember my subs that i didn't did i make any subs there i don't think i did but um yeah that's that's kind of that's kind of something <laughs> but um yeah th there's more to come in this match yet guys you know don't don't lose don't lose us there's gerard can't put cc in there it's been lucky that one and it's back a good old carragher when he was playing for us and hoopier the dynamic duo the originals <laughs> the, the originals why well, it kind of makes me feel old a bit saying that the originals the original <laughs> centre backs right there for us. Let's see, say Gerard goes for the effort. Oh. So the thing is, I know what happens in this. I don't even know why I'm reacting so much to it, but still, <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of it's it's remembering the old times, guys. You know. Even though it kind of wasn't really that long ago when you think about it, but yeah. So, so here we are, seven, approaching 70 minutes, still nothing here from us, still not another goal yet. So you can imagine I'm getting a little more nervous as time goes on because it's like, you know, we're getting close to the end and it's still only 1-0 and I really don't want Rangers to score. And there is Garcia and I think I was lining up the shot there but didn't get enough time to, uh, to take it on there. So yeah, I'm gonna make it and uh, and here comes the subs. Here comes the subs. So I did take Cisse off, did I? Then for Morientes in the end. Yeah, I thought I did because I I was playing the uh, the four five one there, and I know he came on. So yeah, it must have been Cisse, but he got a good goal right there. His reset. Cisse. His Garcia. He's just got to go for the shot from that angle. Pretty unlucky though. They got it away. In the end there, but here comes the main man. <laughs> the main man Mori enters. You gotta love the main man. <laughs> uh Mori enters. So short lived. That was a good shot that that got was a bit unlucky that that didn't go in. But, um he he was I don't know, Mori enters like he had a couple of good moments here and there, but for the most part he kinda sucked for us. <laughs> for the for the most kind of part um you know we also had crouch didn't we like i think i don't think crouch scored for us i think i think in one of the later episodes i think it was against west brom i think the ball came off him and then it hit one of the west brom defenders and went in for a, a, an own goal so i don't think crouch actually scored a single goal for us from what i remember uh, but I think I did play Crouch like once or twice, very briefly. He was one of the ones I just wanted to get rid of straight away in the series. So yeah, Warnock here, then put Morientes in. 
approaching last 10 minutes. I thought I'd scored before sort of 80 minutes mark, honestly. I thought I'd, I thought I'd honestly like scored way before this. I thought I scored like in the, around the 60s or early 70s is in minutes, but apparently I didn't. Here's Alonso, uh, Garcia, Risa on the ball again, takes it away from him, goes back. Yeah, I'm always trying to cut in. Oh, there it is. There, there it is. So I did score within the 70 minutes. I just, it was a little bit later than I, than I thought there, but it was Morientes with a second goal of the season. Look at the celebration. He loves it. <laughs> he loves it. Um, yeah, he's all round good, guys. He's all round good. He, he's, he's fine, you know. He knows what he's doing. Look at him here. Is that, was that through the defender's legs? I think that was through the defender's legs there, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, he had a few decent moments <laughs> overall. But uh, the, uh, the match is not done yet. We're always looking for more goals, as many as we can get. Gerard. And it's Risa. Uh, it's Risa, and that is very unlucky, that chance there. He played well in this match, Risa. He was so unlucky that he didn't get that one right there. And I skipped, I can't believe, like, I used to skip over so many highlights in this. Like, I never do that anymore these days for quite some time. But, well, it's, it's just like, for me, watching this is like kind of remembering how things have evolved over time kind of thing, how much you change over time and the, and the way you kind of do things, I suppose, as well. So, yeah, good old Yasumiya is coming on here, though. Yeah, boy. That's all That's all good. It's all good. Pretty legendary Yasumi. And, uh, yeah, Rangers haven't given us... Reese the back on the ball. Gerard. Gerard was in the AMF area, like oh. sitting behind Cece here. Morientes. That was a good save, though. That one. I'll give you know you got to give the Rangers keeper that one. I mean that was heading in, and he just you know managed to make sure it goes round the post there. That was whipped in there. It's back out again. Here's Racer again. You know you gotta love him. Maybe we should put him back on the attack of these days. <laughs> He, he seems to do uh, really well there. But he is good at left back as well as Risa, so... You know, you can't complain with him. You put him on the left of midfield, you put him in the uh, left back. He's good on both. Well, this has been a good match, I have to admit. This has been a, so far so good, so... I'm happy with this, because Rangers... And uh, Gerard getting in there again, we. ...in this game to beat. So, you know, I wouldn't even blame you if you lost, to be honest. Especially like on this difficulty as well. Like th this difficulty definitely makes the game a lot more harder, um, and that's why I like it a little bit better than PES Six now. I can't tell it's you over and out. Yeah, it didn't really pose too much of a threat, Rangers. You know, there was maybe the one little scare here and there, but yeah. And then I made the final sub here. Who, who were the who were the golden free subs? Did I take Garcia off for Kuehl? I know he doesn't play down that side. Did I really do that? Oh, I guess I did. I don't remember Kuehl pl ever playing this game, although it was very brief, so... I guess you can let me off with that one. There's Warner, Coupier, here's Risa. So now I'm, I'm like, I'm like commentating over the commentary now. <laughs> it's just like it's a, it's a new match or something. There's Morientes on the 10 and into that, you know... I don't know what I was thinking right there, honestly. I really don't. I don't know what possessed me to hit that, to be honest, on the turn there. Because I was just like, probably not going to go in, but that was lucky enough to do so. I mean, Morientes couldn't really do an awful lot from there, but he managed to hit the target and make it 3-0 uh, in this match. So that was, that was fun. That was fair enough for me. The referee kind of getting in the way of Gerard there. But he hits this, and it just bends perfectly right into that bottom corner there, in off the post, and it's like, yeah, how did I do that? You won't see that ever again on this series. And then obviously I was I was showing off how you uh, you saved the, uh, the 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 goal replays if you so wish to, guys. So uh, yeah, that is uh, pretty much that. 
for this game. There aren't no, any, any more goals, means minute stoppage time. So, yeah, small spoilers there. But <laughs> that's uh, that. And what I mean is, is like if you won all your games in this league. Cure. Oh, it's a. I don't remember that shot. I do not remember that shot. That's new to me, that one. <laughs> but yeah, again, it could have had more like Alonso's chance early on when it hit the bar and came down. That, that cool chance there. Reese had a good chance. Yeah, I mean, we could have had like five, six goals there. But yeah, it was pretty good. And that that was the very first Master League game of this channel, guys. The whole thing. So uh, yeah. So this is all the highlights. It will give you the ball. So uh, yeah, and then obviously I'm looking at my highlights because we why not? Very good goal. Um, don't really need to see it again. Um, this was the. So, oh, that alone. That ah. Oh, every time I look at that really shot, I just think if it was more, just a little lower, it if it was just a little in. lower, that would have been such a great goal to have. Uh, this was, I think, the yeah. This was the Garcia chance hit. The and that was a uh, oh yeah, I remember that. I forgot about that one. Garcia right there with that with a header there. Garcia hit the bar. Oh, hit the bar. So we actually hit the bar twice on on this uh, game. Uh, to be honest, we hit the frame of the goal quite a few times. We hit the bar twice. I mean, Morientes' shot came off that uh, post, didn't it? Uh, when he got the goal there. This one. Kuehl hit it towards the end there, so we hit the frame of the goal quite a few times as well uh, on top of that, so, yeah. So, not too bad, and, uh, yeah, well, back when, when we United were SGN United, guys, no, we're, go we're going back some years now, <laughs> you know, things have changed since then. Um, so yeah, that was that. Warnock got a 5.5. Hoopier got a 5.5. Yeah, I, I'd, 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 I'd give them all 10s, man. They were fantastic this game. You know what I'm saying? Um, Reese uh, was the, the fairest man of the match. I told you he did have a good game. He got the 8.0. He was the very first man of the match, even though he didn't score. Morientes got two goals, but that wasn't enough to take it off him. Uh, but he didn't play for very long, did Morientes. But in his short time, he did more than uh, what I thought he was going to be expected of him. So, uh, yeah. Um, Gerard 7.5 there. Didn't really have a whole lot to do at the back. So, yeah, that's that, guys. And uh, I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait here, you know, just just for things to move on, <laughs> just do just gradually. And total shots on goal, we had 24 shots, 14 of them were on target. I did not know that. I should probably start looking at them stats a little more, to be honest. The, uh, yeah, look at that, Morientes and Forcel were the um, top scorers after that first game right there. And assist was Risa. That's probably why Risa got man of the match, because he was really good and he got two assists. So we don't always have to score to uh, be man of the match. Well, Ali Adier there for Celtic. Okay. <laughs> That's... Uh, I don't know, it just seems random to me in a way, <laughs> even though it's not. But this is what I wanted to show you guys, the point ranking system. Morientes and Cissé were number one after the first game right there. That's, like, insane. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much that. And um, do we... Uh, I'm going to say, we, we, we surely have a look at the league table here very briefly, don't we? Or did, did I not bother doing so? Oh, I guess I didn't bother doing so. Wow, did I really not look at the league table in this? I don't know. But yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. And I hope you join us in uh, more to come in the future as uh, we maybe look back on some of these games. Thank you, and see you guys next time. Take care.